Hey, welcome back for another episode of FNL Fridays. I'm Teresa, your host, and I'm here to teach you all things fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite recipes for a tahini sauce. And if you're not familiar with tahini, it's uh, basically just ground and roasted sesame seeds. So if you've ever had sesame seeds, you might know what that tastes like. Um, if you don't know what that tastes like, I would say that tahini is, consistency-wise, it's very much like peanut butter. Uh, it's kind of thick and you generally have to stir it up because the oil separates, so it's kind of thick and creamy, very creamy. And the uh, taste of it, of course, it tastes like sesame seeds, but it has like a earthy, nutty flavor. This is something that I love to make to put on grilled vegetables or stir fry, rice, tofu, pretty much anything that I have for dinner. Um, you can also use it as a salad dressing. It's super, super tasty. Any of you who have worked with me as personal training clients probably know about this recipe because I rave about it. It's probably one of my favorite things and I basically make everybody taste it and it's super delicious. So all you need is just a few simple ingredients. The first thing you need is tahini sauce. So um, this you can get probably at any grocery store. Um, I got mine at Sprouts. Again, that's local to, I think, San Diego or California at least. Um, and it's generally with like the peanut butter, so that's probably where you would find it. Um, if not, you might find it with like the Asian food, maybe? I'm not sure. Mine's always, I always find it with the peanut butter. So, but again, it's called tahini. And this one is unsalted, it's unflavored, there's no um, spices or anything added. Sometimes you can find them with like a, a spicy flavor, which is also really good. And you'll need rice vinegar or really any vinegar. Um, I found that just the taste of rice vinegar works, I think, the best, but in a pinch you can use apple cider vinegar, um, maybe even white vinegar. I've never used balsamic with this, but now I kind of want to. Then you'll either need soy sauce or what I use is called liquid aminos. This one is, I believe, made from soy protein, but it's a soy sauce uh, alternative. Um, and it basically tastes exactly like soy sauce. So, and this has plenty of sodium salt in it. So you don't have to add salt to this recipe at all. The last thing that you, I think you should add is um, chili oil. So obviously this is hot and spicy. If you do not like spicy food, you probably would wanna leave this out or just use a very little amount of it. I really like this to be spicy, not like to the point where I'm choking, but to the point where I can feel the kick. Um, and if you've ever had chili oil before, you know that that's exactly how it works. It's slow and then all of a sudden you feel that kick. So I really like to add this in there. You'll probably want a little bit of water. So that's what that is. The first thing you're gonna do is get a tablespoon and you're gonna take four tablespoons of your tahini. Make sure that you mix this first. Like I said, it separates like natural peanut butter, so you have to give it a good mix, otherwise all the oil will be on the top. It is pretty thick, so it might take a second to get all four here. And I'll be to totally honest with you, when I normally make this, I don't measure any of it, but I'm doing it just because you've never made it before, so you probably want a recipe to follow, but I kind of just wing it and um, make it to taste. So first thing is four tablespoons of tahini. So you can see that's almost my whole, oops, and I dropped it on my computer. But yes, four tablespoons here. Then we will add the rice vinegar. And I would go probably one, maybe two tablespoons. Again, I would just taste this as you go because um, you know, some people might like it a little more salty, some might like it a little more acidic with the vinegar. So kind of see what you think and then add if you need to. So I'm going to do two tablespoons there. I forget what I just told you. I might have said one, but I'm going to do two. And then the liquid aminos. Now this is very, very salty. Um, I would probably go like a half a tablespoon, um, not more than that. And again, I mean, you can adjust it to your taste. If you don't have an actual half tablespoon measure, um, every tablespoon is three teaspoons. So if you do one and a half teaspoons, that is one half tablespoon. 
And I should say, this will seem, it doesn't mix at all until you actually manually mix it. So you probably can't see this at all, but it's, it's very separated right now. You can see this, the um, liquid aminos and the vinegar are just kind of sitting on top. The last one that I uh, mentioned is the hot chili oil and I like this a little extra spicy. So I'm going to just give this a good little mix to get the red pepper flakes mixed in. And then I just kind of do a little scoop of it and then start mixing. When you're mixing this, at first it's gonna seem like super separated and it's gonna be like thick at the bottom and watery at the top and then as you keep mixing. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of separated here um, and it'll look like that for a minute where it just like looks almost like it's curdling and it's not um, mixing together and that's totally normal. You just keep mixing your little heart out and keep going and then very quickly you will see that it starts to get very thick. I mean it's not even coming off. So um, that happens literally in like 10 seconds. So now you can see how thick this is. It's like basically a paste. Um, and that's when you want to add water because obviously this is not a sauce, this is a paste, which maybe tastes good, but I'm gonna add probably a tablespoon at a time. So I'm gonna just do one tablespoon and then give it a nice little mix. I'm mixing this in a really tiny container, so I'm trying not to splatter all over the place. <laughs> that was one tablespoon that I just added of water, and you can see it's it's not a um, it's you know a little drippy. It's not so much of a paste anymore, but it's also not really a sauce yet. So I'm going to do one more tablespoon, which I think will probably give this the perfect consistency. And again, when you're mixing it, it'll seem like it's not absorbing the water you just have to keep mixing it only takes a minute and then all of a sudden it'll just totally incorporate I probably should have used a bigger container for this but now this is much more creamy I'm not sure what I would compare it to texture wise um, maybe like melted peanut butter is kind of what it looks like now um, but you can see now it's actually drippy and that's pretty much it. It is done. So let me taste it and see if it's delicious. Of course it is. Taste it. If you want it to be a little more liquidy, just add water. If you like that acidic um, vinegar taste, add a little more vinegar. You probably will not need more salt than that. I think what I put in is just enough because it's salty but not overbearing. And uh, spice-wise, again, if you like it a little hotter, just add a little bit at the end. But I would recommend making it the way I said first and then adding after because the last thing you want to do is have it be like way too salty or way too watery and then you have to just keep adding more ingredients to balance it out and then you end up with a giant bowl of it. This is, I think like one cup or so. Um, I think it's just under a cup. So this would be good. Um, what I would use it for would probably be like three or four servings. I usually use like one or two tablespoons, um, probably like two tablespoons each time I use it. So this would last me probably for the week. And it's very savory, it's rich, so you don't need a lot of it, um, but it's super tasty. Like I said, I think it goes really well on any sort of vegetables, rices, tofu, uh, salads. You could probably dip stuff in it if you wanted to. I hope you enjoy it and I will be back here next week with another video for you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss the videos on Friday. Have a great weekend!